Hey Virgo, welcome to the channel. This is your February career and finance reading. Virgo, thank you guys for stopping by, okay? Let me just kind of fix my mess here a little bit. All right, Virgo, you are the last of the Mohicans, my last and last. What am I gonna do with myself for the rest of the day? All right. Oh my Virgo, your card went down on the floor. So you have the Four of Swords. Oh, you also have the Four of Cups. So 44. 44, 44. All right, Four of Swords. This is mindfulness. All right. Um, some of you could be thinking about, you know, your next move, okay? Because the Four of Cups says um, you're bored where you are. You know, you want something new. Um, you could have had some job offers come in. You probably turned them down because it's not really what you want to do. Maybe it was the same type of positions or the same situations that, you know, you were receiving before or where you were working before. And you don't really want to do that anymore either. Um, for a lot of you, like the, the job was just a little overwhelming. Um, there was no peace there. You left, you're leaving tired and worn out, things of that nature. So when you're getting... Um, uh, called by you know or reached out when other when jobs reach out to you that are like similar to where you've been i feel like a lot of you guys are like you know no nah, i'm good i'm gonna pass okay so the four cup says that you know you could be refusing you know offers and things at this time and that's good right that you're hanging in here because uh, when strength comes in, it means that you're you're taking this slow and steady. You're being patient, like you're looking, right? You're maintaining your emotions and things right now. Okay, you're you're still looking. You know for sure, without a doubt, that you know what it is that you're looking for. You know is going to uh, manifest. And look, there it is, the will. Okay, so what you're looking for it will manifest. So things are about to change for you financially particularly if you're struggling uh, in some area, you know, of your life, whether it's you just want a job change or you just want more money or both, <laughs> okay? The will is coming in to change your destiny. So there's something that is fated uh, for you here. So you're going through some type of a cycle when the will shows up. So maybe you've been at a place, work at a place for just way too long. You know, if you've been someplace for like seven years, you know, going on seven years, it's probably time to shift if you've been there for 11 years it's probably time to shift for some of you you've been there for five years you know it's time you know to kind of move on okay because something the universe is trying to turn something you know around for you okay you're at that particular turning point where change or some type of movement is needed okay so um let's see what else we have here hang in there Come on, be a good one. Oh, we have the six on calm. So some of you could be, you know, like, like just yearning for something new, right? Just trying to manifest, you know, something new, something better, something bright, right? Something that's going to, you know, really make you happy. The six of cups um, can say that some of you could be returning to old jobs, you know, maybe hooking up with old friends. Maybe they got some ideas of where, you know, some connections and things like that are something of that nature okay so you know um all kinds of possibilities uh here for you guys but a lot of you um even could be dealing with some past influences like i said a lot of you could just be getting called you know by the you know like if you're a nurse and you want to be you know um something else and you're just getting called by all nursing jobs you know not what this the very thing that you don't want to do I feel is what's uh, calling you in. So we have spirituality. So it tells me that you guys are being guided, you know, into a lot of things. One, to manage your money, right? Two, into something that's probably spiritual, okay? Um, things like that, okay? Spirituality, a lot of you could be, you know, looking into like tarot readings like you're looking right now, right? Trying to figure out like, you know, uh, what do I do? Who do I trust? Where do I go? You know, things of that nature, when it comes to your finances. So it says you are being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. You may be called to become a spiritual advisor, healer, or anything in the occult. Your finances could use some spell work. Ask your angels and guides for assistance. So if it ain't nothing wrong with asking your angels and your guides, you know, to assist you, you know, with your money matters, okay? Um, anything that's going to help, you know, make it work. 
I guess is what, you know, we're concerned with right now, right? You know what I'm saying? It says uh, money manager. It says this car could uh, indicate your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. That's amazing. Consider careers in money management, banking, accounting, or anything in finance. You can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. I expect you to have a happy outcome too, Um Virgo with the wheel here. Okay. I, I don't, you know, there could be something spiritual here for a lot of you. Um, as far as like, if you're wondering like, you know, what your purpose is or what you should be doing, you know, the wheel could be, you know, getting your attention. It could be something that you're gifted with, uh, in spirituality. I think everybody is, but you know, some are just able to use it more effectively, you know, than others. So some of you could want to be tarot card readers. You want to get into that career, any type of spiritual work, you know, that's out there, whatever, right? uh crystals it goes on and on and on inspiring others you know who knows okay um it says you have a good outlook on your finances once again here it says improve your relationship with money to help grow your wealth you may have conflicting values that impose negativity on your values around money change behavior and develop better money habits so with all of this good luck coming in because you definitely have an increase here with your money, okay? You may look at how you spend it, how you're managing it, okay? Just keep an eye out, you know, for that. You might want to cut back just a little bit. Some of you own beauty products, you know, things that, um, you know, um, whether it's products, plastic surgery, it really doesn't matter. Some of you could maybe even, you know, considering plastic surgery with the Six of Cups here. Because the Six of Cups has like a, you know, a very youthful a past energy and so a lot of you could be getting plastic surgery done so that you can look younger you know things of that nature some of you may just be pursuing uh careers in you know beauty okay but trust and behold that you know if you get like some type of windfall right because the will usually brings windfall you know if you don't manage your money you know if you don't spend it wisely some of you could fall into you know um you know uh you know, burning through your money, okay? So beauty, embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see how you really are. Consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances others' beauty. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. Money has come to a complete halt or money is slow coming in, it says. Don't borrow money. Don't borrow more than you can repay. Debt might be piling up. So, so what, right? You have this uh, will of fortune coming in, guys. So, again, you don't want to spend it, right? Don't overly or excessively spend. Like, slow down if you're spending money. Um, if money is a little tight right now, you could be borrowing from a parent or something like that. You know, just make sure that, you know, you're budgeting and you're paying it back, okay? You don't want, you know, um, a bad reputation when it comes to borrowing and not uh, paying it back but you have very good luck coming in here if you hang in there so if you are borrowing right now you won't be for long okay so just look out for the, the wheel right because it's bringing you some good fortune okay you have in the flow wishes uh wish come true oh that's why it will will is bringing you in some shit all right there's a journey and you have a relationship okay so um, in the flow, the universe is sending you help. Okay, that's why the will's here, um, Virgo. Tap into your inner power and go deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to, to have. You have a wish coming true. Your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected it. No worries. It just is it may just be what you want. Okay, so something's coming in for you. It's gonna help, period. Big or small, doesn't really matter. It's going to put you on a nice little journey with choices and opportunities. Looks like even relationship uh, coming in here as well. And say you may move to a new place for work or travel for work. Exploring the world gives you the experience you need to succeed. Um, yeah, you could be traveling, but I honestly feel like this is just like a, a journey for you, like a spiritual journey. Like something that the universe is handing you so that you are aware that the universe exists. Kind of like a little God wink or something. You know, something coming in that you can't deny, that you know is faded, that's going to help you out. This may even be like some type of idea, something to create, something to make. You know, it may come through music or art because you have this flow card here. But this is something coming from the depths of your soul, like your imagination, okay? It's like you and God partnering up together and, and they're giving you 
know, like this, this massive download, you know, to create something that's going to bring you in some honest work, you know, some honest money, okay, after a period of maybe some ups and downs, okay, so this is all about perspective and how you see these energies, how you use these energies, things like that. So it says business partner, office love, affairs with communication, co-worker are highlighted now. It says make choices with extreme care. So be careful, you know, particularly if you get um, any type of large amount of money because anything is possible. Okay, anything's possible. So, you know, you may have people, partners, you know, that may want to join you on your journey because you got what they don't. You know, you got money. They may see you as having a lot. Uh, things of that nature they may see this blessing come in and they may, may want to attach themselves to you and that may just be the case with these twos okay um you got two twos here twos are again partnerships um there could be an opportunity for you to team up with somebody else and build upon something okay but the card says the void longing technology ambition genius forward thinking stress and depression it says you have more control over your life than you realize. Learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It's, it gets better with time. <laughs> there are plenty of friends to make, to, to make, so chill out, have fun, and open up and go outside. So there's that relationship thing again. So you're definitely, there's definitely someone coming in that has something to do with your money, your finances, whether this is a business partner, family member, or somebody that's going to like mooch off of you until everything just runs dry. But the card, you know, I wanted to focus that it said, um, learn to execute what interests you. Um, it says here to um, turn things around, right? Turn things around. And that's how I see the will. I feel like the world, the will is coming in to turn things around for you so that it does get better in time, over time, doesn't matter, just as long as it gets better. All right, two plus two is four. You know, you're, you know, it's gonna put you where your your foundation is gonna be solid for a minute. All right, can't predict life, but it definitely there's something coming in that's gonna financially like stabilize you. You know, for quite some time, it's gonna allow you, you know, to kind of go on these journeys, right? In order for you to move, you know, kind of open up some more doors, uh, start a new business, uh, spiritual business possible. Any business doesn't really matter. Um, but definitely so. Look, more twos, more twos. Um, uh, let's see. Um, we got good times. Nice. We also have change here. So I see the change because I see the will, right? Um, encouragement, support, obstacles, battle, calling, uh, restructuring, creative work. Okay, you, this is some of the things that you have coming in. Um, in addition to that, there's leisure, you have rest, you have pleasure, love, affection, kindness, happiness, definitely a relationship, all right? Just saying. You got relationship, relationship. Um, I don't know how it's linked to your money right now, um, but it's going to be part of the shift, okay, in your career. Uh, maybe you're moving to another state, another country, you know, with your significant other to start a new job. There's definitely some type of shift here because love you know, it is like there is something changing in your in your foundation period. All right. That affects your money, that affects your career, uh, something of that nature, particularly with these fives. It says you're going to level up. It might not feel good initially, but it will prepare you for it will prepare you to handle the greater things in life for your highest good. This that is why you've been look that is what you've been looking for. I'm so sorry. It says push through it. There's a reward waiting um at the finish line. So rewards, recognition, change, all of that coming in for you guys. Um, this restructuring may not like I said, may not feel nice because you did come in like with the four swords. So, you know, you may be a little tired at the end of this, but I feel that the, whatever this change is coming in is going to eventually once it's once the dust settles i guess is what i'm trying to say virgo you know things are going to be right things are going to feel better you're going to have peace okay you're going to be able to you know relax a little bit more stressful maybe right now with the change in the transition but um whatever this shift is all right is going to eventually just metal out and then you'll be able to kind of switch that four swords up from being worn out to being in a place of healing and solitude peacefulness and mindfulness okay so just hang in there okay um you also have a three here so the universe is definitely uh keeping an eye out uh for you um 
four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's a three. Um, so, uh, spirit is guiding you. So you're protected. Okay. During this process, during this movement, during this, uh, beautiful change that you've been blessed with, um, at this time. Okay, guys. So I hope you liked your reading Virgo and I will see you around.